Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Word. In this module, I want to look at business letter layout. So on the screen, I've got some block information where you should put your details when you're writing a business letter. So top right, you can see there, you've got your information, your address, and the date. On the left, it's gonna be their information. Then sometimes you have a title, it depends how your company does it. Sometimes there's a title there, so it should say read something read job applicant then you are going to say dear sir or madam or dear surname dear mr jones then you have an opening paragraph main body and a closing paragraph and then you sign it off with your sincerely so this is basically what i want to have a quick look at so if i just got myself a new document and this is going to be introducing a few features in word one of the things that has um, been an issue for me over the years is the way people put their address on the right hand side of the paper the worst case scenario would be for somebody to start pressing the space bar to get across to the right. If I put show hide on, you can see that that's putting loads of dots there, basically, character spaces. So get rid of that. That is not a good way of doing it. Another way would be to press the tab key and tab yourself across there and then start typing your address. That is, is acceptable, but it's um, not great. Now, the other way people do it is they click on write a line and they start typing their address, like Mr. S. Saxton. And I see this so much on the internet, lots of examples of this, and it is so, so wrong. Because what you've done here, you have got the text on the right-hand side of the screen, but you've got it left, um, not left aligned, you've got it right aligned, so you can see it's coming in there. If I take the show hide off, just make my screen a little bit bigger, it's coming in from the right margin correct but it's it's not left aligned this should be straight down this line there so the way to do that is not by any of those i've just said is by using an indent so here is the indent marker there's lots of different ways of getting an indent across at the 10 i'm going to go for the 10 centimeters maybe 11 centimeter mark if i select the bottom rectangle it says left indent when i point to it i can pull that across to 11 i'll just type some random text there so you can see that it will go to the end and then wrap around but everything is left aligned even though it's on the right side of the screen nice and neat and if you insert a word it just keeps wrapping around and stays over there um if i just delete all that off and put my proper address in there so take it across to 10 in fact before rather than dragging it you can also use these two buttons so that one increases the indent so one two three all the way across it jumps at 1.27 so it's not exactly going to 10 and it won't go to 11 if i click it one more so that is not as accurate as me just put it on there there but if i went into the paragraph area you've got the option there of setting an indent at an exact position but to be fair if you can get yourself trained up so you can grab the thing you have to be careful because if you move too far up you get the bottom triangle um which splits this off and then your top triangle which represents the first line is not in sync so you have to be quite careful to get the rectangle and position it where you want it to be and then you can type your your address so if i just type mine very quickly no it's not my name and i don't live here either but you see, when I'm pressing enter now, it's just wrapping around, it's just coming down. And it's all nice and neat. Now you could put the date there. Now this is where I might have made a mistake and not done enough space, but if I go to insert date, insert date and time, and go for the longest date, so obviously that would work. See if it fits. So it's not fit, it's, it's wrapped around a little bit. So what I need to do now is just basically come over to this side and just highlight everything nice and neatly. Pick up the indent marker and take it back to the 10 centimeter mark. So that does wrap around correctly like so. Press and enter. Now I need to clear the indent off to get back over to the left hand side. And to do that, I'm gonna use a key command, control and Q, which does that. Or I could have dragged it back across or I could have clicked on the button going left like so. So now I need to type their address so mr smith let's say one red road leads i'll do 
Now the title for this is going to be um, in bold and underlined. So I'm going to do control B and underline and I'm going to say re and then job application job. And then I'm doing the key command control space bar to knock all that off. Press and enter. Then I'm going dear Mr. Smith. And then you could put a comma there. Some people do, but I'm just going to leave that as it is. Now you are typing your introduction. So I'm just going to put introduction. I've actually got some text um, on intro. I think I've got some auto text. Let's see if I have. Maybe not. Yes, I have nothing to do with this letter, but there's your introduction. And then see if I've got anything on ending. Yep, there's my main body. And then you want a an ending, which will be intro again for this for this example. And the last thing you're going to do is yours sincerely. And they should leave six line spaces. So there's space for you to write or sign your signature block. So one, two, three, four, five, six. S Saxton, like so. So that's um, a standard business letter uh, that you'd expect to see in quite a lot of companies. The ones that you've got them pre-printed and the left aligned, uh, the right aligned uh, are wrong in my view, but you can't argue with that if they've used them for ages. Now, another option you could have is you get some companies where you've got the addresses on the same line. So they're no longer uh, aligned to the right. They are both on the same line. Now, obviously this wouldn't work how we've got it set up there. So if I show you how to do that, I've just got myself a new document. So what you have to basically do there is Mr. Smith. So that's the first line of, of the customer's address, if you like. Now I need to put a an indent um, over, let's say, let's go for the 10 centimeter mark again. So there's a left indent. I want a left indent. So I'm just gonna put it onto the 10 centimeters and then I can tab, which will jump to that. And then I can put my name, Mr. S. Saxton, and so on. And when I press enter, it goes back over to Mr. Smith. So I go one red road. And I just press my tab key again. One, two, three, build and lane. And you can see how this works. So you basically are doing, the, doing these two addresses in tandem. I'll just do this to Bradford. And then you get the idea. Needs a capital. Now it went to capital before because it was the first line. So when if I come down one more address and let's say that's it finished, what I should then do is pull that indent off so I don't pull that indent all the way through this document. Otherwise it would be through the document. Another way I could have done that is I could have gone insert table, just doing um, a two, two lines like so and hidden the borders. So no border, but you can, and this one as well, no border. Wrong one, no border. So these don't print out. I've just got the, um, on the layout tab, you can put guides on, a few grid lines. So I've put those on so you can see them. And then you'd basically just put your addresses in these two boxes and they would be on the opposite sides of the paper. So, so in terms of this, you might need to move that to the right. I just did. Um, control R there, which is, we're going to be back to the same situation we had with the indent. So what you can do with tables is you can actually create an indent inside a table, which is what I would have to do over there. Otherwise I don't achieve what I'm trying to achieve, which is the same as what's above. So I will put an indent on, backspace that off a minute and just sit that indent across at 11. So when I start typing in there, it should just wrap around at 11. Like so, but whatever you're doing, you try to keep this nice and neat like that. So that's just a couple of examples of how you set up um, letter, letter layouts in Word. So I hope you've enjoyed that and I'll see you on the next one.